Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today we are going to be diving into um, the vocoder that I used for the acapella of Let It Happen by Tame Impala. So I had a few requests to uh, do this um, among many other things that I'm currently working on. Uh, I just have a very busy schedule but let's dive into the vocoder part for Let It Happen. So um, I'm sure Kevin Parker used a lot of um, external hardware, maybe like a microcorg or um, whatever he used, I'm not sure. But there are, are uh, many workarounds for a vocoder, especially in FL Studio and Logic Pro X. So let's dive into how uh, my version sounded. Um, I will not be playing the official audio or the instrumental for uh, obvious reasons, um, but just take a listen. All right, and that is the vocoder section, including uh, the melodies at the very end of the song uh, for um, this very long song. So I wanted to add in the melodic Oh Baby part because um, when we dive into the vocoder, um, there's a lot of tracks that I laid down um, that are pretty atrocious to listen to by themselves without the vocoder. So um, let's just take a listen to how I would normally sing a part um, compared to what I'm about to show you. And this is going to be totally dry as well. Oh, baby, now I'm ready, moving on, oh, but maybe I was ready all along, oh, ready. That is normally how I would um, lay down some vocals. Um, so let's dive into the vocoder part, and I'm, I'm going to show you why I showed you that. So when you want to do um, a vocoder part, you're going to want to first lay down a track of vocals um, that can be plugged into the vocoder. So for the jumble of words that he used for the vocoder part, um, I couldn't really understand it, so I tried to write them down, all the syllables, and this is kind of what I got. But cannot ban it, you will not scare me. Try, can you do it? Try to push through it. You went out thinking that I would not do it. So it's definitely something that you don't, uh, something that you don't want to listen to by itself. So uh, once you lay down this part of the song, he loops it one more time, but he cuts off a little bit of the end because there's a little bit of a quiet part right before that uh, octave lower guitar solo. Um, and then he loops it three more times. So once you lay down this good bar right here, um, you're going to want to label it something that you can remember. Um, and then you're going to want to have a new software instrument track. So here's a new software instrument track that I loaded up. And um, you're going to want to open up Evoc 20 PS Vocoder Synth. Um, and once you have it loaded up, you're going to want to head over here to Sidechain Audio and whatever you named it. Uh, for me, it's Vocoder Vox. Um, and then you're going to go over here to the Vintage Vocoder and click on Clear Voice Vocoder. Um, a bunch of these settings um, I think are um, stock, but you're going to want to tweak some things. I don't remember exactly what I tweaked, so you may just want to match these settings to get the same tone. So let's hear how it sounds. Um, Oh, first let me show you. You have to plug in notes in order for the vocoder to be activated, so 
Um, I started out by plugging in some bass notes that matched the melody. Um, and after I finished doing that, I added some root notes um, right here. Um, this was a really long process because there was so much going on inside of the melody. Um, and a bunch of these other notes are just um, flourishings to make it sound um, the way that it did on the record. So um, you're going to want to kind of match all this stuff here. Um, but again, this video is for educational purposes so that you can use this vocoder um, and the style of Tame Impala on uh, one of your own songs. So I don't think that really matters too much. So let's take a listen to the vocoder part. Pretty cool, huh? So, um, you can tell that sounds very robotic, and that's not completely the sound that we're going for, especially when um, we're trying to imitate the uh, Let It Happen song. So, to add a little bit of more uh, natural sounds to it, I layered three more versions of my vocals on top of the vocoder and the um, original vocoder track. So, here's how they sound. I cannot vanish, you will not scare me. Try to try to do it, try to push through it. You and I thinking that I would not do it. They'd be loving someone and I would hush do it. Take the next ticket. Um, to go a little bit more in depth, I think I used... Um, this layer for bass notes. But cannot vanish, you will... I think this one is for uh, the higher notes. But cannot vanish, you will not... And then I think the top one was just um, a happy middle ground. But cannot vanish, you will not scare me. Jack and right do it, Jack. And for all of these uh, natural sounds that I used, I definitely um, auto-tuned them to match the notes perfectly because um, it adds to the effect of the vocoder. So, um, and once I laid down these tracks, I found out that um, all these vocals together um, kind of st stuck out too much and turning them down uh, didn't quite help. I kind of wanted to like iron them out into the mix and have them uh, mesh really well with the vocoder. So apart from the compressor, the channel EQ, and the reverb, of course, um, I added some flanger. So I can show you the difference between the, um, the flanger that I added and straight up vocals. Cannot vanish, you will not scare me. Try to not do it, try to push through it. You were not thinking that I would not do it. There be love someone in our So there you have it. There's um a general basis of how I did the vocoder part for the song. Um you can tell the flanger really um evened out the whole mix in regards to all these vocal parts together. And um, when it gets to this part um, with the O oh Babies, um, it really just adds to the effect of everything going together. Um, and I like the way it turned out. So, um, yep. Um, I thank you guys for watching this video. And um, I'm logging all your requests um, down in my notes so that I can work on them and figure them out and um, definitely get back to you. So um, don't forget to send me an email if you have any questions, um, if I ended up going too fast. Um, again, thank you, and have a good day. Bye.